Hi, I'm Alyssa Marie, and this is The Misfortunes of Obermoss. The Misfortunes of Ova Moss was my very first stop motion film. Um, it, uh, I just dove right in and it was, it was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about stop motion. Um, and I've since done a couple of other smaller projects, um, but, uh, but Ova Moss was the beginning of my stop motion career. I have been uh, a visual artist for um, as long as I can remember and um, I, I have a background in painting and illustration, um, and that's kind of my primary focus uh, with my artistic career. Um, I, uh, I just recently got into animation about a year ago. Um, I audited uh, an animation class at St. Edwards University um, taught by George Morrow, and um, that is where Ova Moss began, was in that class. The biggest uh, challenge with Ova Moss was um, honestly, I think the 
the, the physically taxing aspect of it, which I was not um, anticipating. Um, and every so often, everything would just fall down and you would have to start from scratch pretty much for that scene. Uh, so I think that was, that was the most challenging part. For anyone who's interested in getting into animation, um, it is a huge practice in patience, um, which has been really, really interesting. So if you are an impatient, results-driven individual, this may not be the field for you. Um, it's very tedious, it's very time-consuming, um, but so rewarding uh, when you see these inanimate objects come to life on screen. Um, the story of Ova Moss began with lots of conversation, lots of brainstorming, and lots of beer. Um, I think the, the initial seed I'm going to be really punny here. <laughs> the initial seed for Ova Moss um, was, was the tree itself. We, uh, we knew that there was going to be a tree woman, and um, we knew that it was going to be a tragedy. Here comes more puns. The story just branched out from that. Um, from that. Um, the conceptual design for Ova Moss, um, I, you know, I, I really wanted her to be um, kind of emaciated. Um, this is a tragedy and she is malnourished on many levels, so I knew she was going to be very bony, um, very branchy, obviously. Um, and, uh, and I knew that she, her entire being, was going to be the tree as opposed to like a woman in a tree. Um, and um, her, the, the concept design of her actually translated really nicely into the finished product because she was so twiggy and emaciated, um, the, the joints and everything worked out really nicely, very um, exaggerated and traumatic. You can see more of my work and uh, plans for future projects at snaggletoothstudios.com.